Hey guys, Jared from Mooses. Uh, here today we're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to engrave on a grizzly mug. Uh, this is a charcoal one. We got a dozen to do for a local company we deal with. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through the process. The Trotec laser is set up right now to do flats uh, and to do some cutting. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta power this off, change tables, put the rotary reattachment in, uh, and then get set up to do mugs. Uh, so the first thing that we gotta do uh, when we change the beds out is we have to drop the tray all the way down to make sure that there's room for our rotary attachment to go in. This should be far enough so I can shut it off. This tray just comes out with four quick push buttons. Once we have those depressed, we can lift this right out. Slide it back in here and grab the tray we need. Once this is set in there, we just have two push buttons. Now that's secured. Now we can go grab our rotary attachment. Once that, once you have that seat in properly, you just plug it in. Close everything up. Kick it back on. And now give it a little bit of time to register that the rotary, the rotary attachment's in there. Um, and while that's doing that, we can come over here to the computer and get everything set up and ready to laser. So the first thing we do uh, when we're doing mugs doing any kind of mug, any kind of glass, uh, any kind of uh, spherical shape. When we have it up and we go to take it over to our job control, uh, which is taking it over to our laser, we have to put in measurements. Uh, for, for the machine to get the circumference, we gotta give it the height, which all grizzly mugs, all oh, 20 ounce grizzly mugs, or seven and a half tall is what we put in just for quick numbers. And then we put in three and a half uh, for the cross measurement. I have them put in right here. As you can see, I guess I can highlight this seven and a half, then highlight that three and a half. I have my minimal job size, the rotary attachment is clicked. I'm gonna be putting it on metal, alumina, aluminum anodized, and then I can send this right over to the job control. So now that I have it in job control, I can bring it over to the machine, or to the computer, and it already switches the screen to the rotary attachment portion. So now we can look at it and then we'll rotate it. So this is how the this certain customer wants them engraved on the mug. For the most part we can go all the way around the mug if if we choose but this customer wants it running up the mug. So that's how we're gonna set it up. And since I shut the engraver off and I kicked it back on, I have to connect them back to each other. Um, I find best that with Grizzly mugs, uh, I like my power at 100 and uh, I can keep the speed at 90, 95 or 100. Any one of them does the job that I need it to or no, the, the velocity, the speed I have down to 60. The power's at 100. I find that to be best 
for for the gray, for the charcoal grizzly mugs, that, that's what I find best. You know, when we get into some of the other powder coats, uh, the orange, the red, the sea blue, uh, some of them I can speed up faster to get the same depth, uh, the same look that we're going for. But the gray ones, the coating that they put in is just a little bit harder, so I just slow the machine down a little bit. I'll go ahead and move this over, get the, get the laser about where I want. Now, there's a lot of different ways to make sure with this, with this being in here and the customer wants, wants their logo running up and down, first, uh, all the Grizzly mugs come with this little paper attached. And I know that my design is 3.6 inches. So I can leave that paper on, just saves me time. Uh, I can just leave that on and still engrave with it. So I'll put the mug in. And as you can see, if I have it solid in there, uh, this is just a little level that I got from the local hardware store. If I put that on there, you can tell that the, that the mug's not level at this point. So what I do is I come back here to the back of it, and I will raise the end of it up. If you can see that, until, until it's level. Once it's level, I can lock that in, and now I'm ready. So then, I'll move my laser kind of to where I think the center of the design's gonna go, and I'll start to raise the, raise the bed up. We have to be at a certain distance away from the mug to be able to engrave. The one thing I like about the Trotec lasers is to get the distance, it's just this little, the little spacer. So you just keep raising it up, once the spacer falls, I know that I'm good. That's the proper distance away from them. Then I'll close the tray. So now all we have to do is press play. And we will watch it laser their logo. And at this point, at this point of the job, I would be unboxing other mugs, getting ready, having the next one that way. When this one's done, I can pull it out, put the next one in, and then when that one's lasering, I can be cleaning this one out. Um, but for this video, I'll just show you guys how I take it out and clean it. So now that it's done, we just pop it up, pull this back. It, another thing I like about the Trotec, it's just a, it's a quick, easy place and go for the mugs. Uh, once our, once it's done engraving, I just like to clean them off with uh, a cleaner. Gets all the dust and everything off. Shine them up a little bit. And there we go. You can get a lot closer. Yeah, right there. So, and now, like I said before, I would be unboxing as this one was going. Uh, so that is how we take one bed out, put the other bed in, put the rotary attachment in, and do Grizzly mugs. If you like the video, uh, comment below. Continue to follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.